All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about combining transformations, combining transformations of linear functions. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is um, doing multiple transformations of a linear function. So I'm going to be moving it up, down, left, and right, and stretching and compressing, doing that kind of thing. Um, all the vi videos and all the notes that I've done so far, all the examples I've done so far, have been just a single transformation. And this one kind of goes over just how to do multiple transformations. And it's, it's relatively simple. It's relatively straightforward. What you have to do is you simply just need to take one step at a time. Just do one transformation at a time, and uh, you, you should be okay with it. Okay, so reading the directions here, let g of x be a horizontal shift left 3 of f of x equals 3x, followed by a horizontal stretch by a factor of 4. Okay, write the new rule, write the rule for g of x. Okay, now as I said before, you just need to basically just take it one step at a time, do one, one transformation at a time. All right, so here's f of x is 3x, and the first thing I want to do is a horizontal shift left 3. A horizontal shift left 3. Okay, so what's going to happen is g of x, my new function, if I want to move something to the left or to the right, I'm either going to add or subtract directly to the x. Okay, so it's going to be x plus 3, uh, it's either going to be plus 3 or minus 3. Now, if we ever put anything inside parentheses like this, it's always going to be opposite of what you think, is what I usually say. So if I want to move something to the left 3, I'm actually going to add 3 directly to the x. That, that will move everything to the left. Okay? And again, it's opposite of what you think. Uh, that's commonly what I refer to, because n normally you think, okay, if I go left, that means negative 3, but not in this case. If you ever do that inside the parentheses, it's always opposite of what you think. Okay, now what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to, so this is left 3. Okay, so a little arrow for left, a little arrow for left, okay, left 3. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to simplify this before I move on. So g, g of x is equal to 3x plus 9. Okay, I'm actually going to simplify that a little bit. So actually, by moving left 3, we've actually just a, it's basically just a plus 9 um, to my function. A little interesting there. Um, anyway, um, now for the second one. Okay, so that, that was the first one, just shift left 3, followed by a horizontal stretch by a factor of 4. So I'm going to horizontally stretch it by a factor of 4. Now think about it. If you horizontally stretch something, horizontal stretching and compressing only affects the slope of your function. It only affects the slope. Okay, so it's, in our case, it's only going to affect the 3 here. It's not going to affect anything else. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm either going to multiply this times 4 or divide by 4. That's basically my two choices. Now, think about it. We are horizontally stretching. If I horizontally stretch a function, the slope of the function is actually going to go down. Okay, so in that case, I need to divide by 4. So in this case, I'm going to take my 3 and I'm going to divide by 4. Okay, and then this, that is going to be a uh, horizontal, horizontal stretch by 4. And again, that only affects the x portion of my, um, of my function. It only affects the slope of my function. And in this case, I had to divide by 4. Okay, and that's it. That's basically it. We just did one at a time. The first one that we did was, this is left. We went to the left 3. Okay, and then after that, I just, just, just kind of distributed and got this 3x plus 9. And then a horizontal stretch by a factor of 4, which means we divide the slope by 4. So we get 3 fourths for a slope, 3 fourths x for a slope. And that's it. That's basically it. Just remember when you're doing multiple transformations on a function, just take one step at a time. Just do one at a time. And if you need to do any simplifying like I did here, do that step of simplifying and then apply uh, the new transformation. It just makes things much, much easier. Um, but anyway, that is uh, how to, how, uh, just one example of how to do multiple transformations.